Welcome, welcome, look, we need a flag two days in a row. Alright. <laughs> we got the Negro Pians, I tell you. So they'll try to send me subliminal message that, uh, you know, that if and when they deport me, that they have conditioned the mind of the people of Grenada to continue to engage in targeting me. All right, this is what they'll do. All right, this is what they've done. I was trying to do, you know. But what they don't understand is that, uh, <laughs> like I said, I have a greater purpose. So, guess what? I'll be exposing whoever they use there too. Or it doesn't matter where I go. Okay? I'm going to continue to expose it. That's what they don't get. They don't, they, they, they don't seem to get it, do they? <laughs> they really don't seem to get it. Right? doesn't matter where I go. Right? I know I'm going to be targeted. And again, I got to show the world that these people, their ability, their capabilities, what they can, what they can do. And so, you know, like, like I said, it, it's... They're trying to re-enslave black people. I mean, they have so already, but using the, an indirect method. But going forward, they're gonna do it in a direct method, and we're gonna be happy about it. Well, not me, anybody. not anybody who's conscious of what it is that's going on, right? Like I said, go read up on silent sound spread spectrum, microwave, radio wave frequency, weapons. Go look up, read up what the Russians said in the 1980s about government of the West having this capability to be able to control the minds of the people, to manipulate the minds of the people, to create new personalities, to create whatever personality they want. Right? But many people don't want to listen. See, they want to believe, but they hate facts. Just like the Post, right? Just like the Post. What it says, right? She said that she hates data and she hates statistics and she hates facts. That's what she says. And that's most people today. Particularly that's most women today. Particularly Negro Pian women. They hate statistics, they hate data, they hate facts. Why? Because it goes against their delusional mindset. Right? It goes against what they've been conditioned to believe. Right? It goes against the lie. Or the lies. So when truth is introduced, they reject it. And like I said, they claim to be Christian and believers of Christ, right? <laughs> They'll talk about how Christ was persecuted and Christ came to bring the truth and, you know, he was rejected. Well, there have been many Christ amongst us that we have rejected, that who have brought us the truth. And again, Christ is not a person. Christ is a title. It is, the, is a title, right? So your priest, will be, your priest will be Christ, right? Your educators will be Christ. Right? Your doctors will be Christ because they are educated. So you got to understand that once you obtain knowledge, you have a Christ mind. Right? Knowledge makes a man unfit to be a slave. Having knowledge and proper knowledge will, will make you look at the world and see what's going on and understand and realize that you have people out there who are keeping the masses of people in poverty, and particularly black people, from um, ever becoming conscious of who they are and having a, a um, knowledge of self. See, white people can't come to me and tell me that, um, you know, uh, history started in Greece. They can't come to me and tell me that, you know, this Pythagoras is the one who uh, uh, invented algebra, math. Right? They can't, they can't do that because I know their history. Right? And there's white scholars, white historians, white scientists who've also spoke the truth about history. But the only way they can fool us, again, is to keep knowledge away from us. Is to keep indoctrinating us with lies. Right? Why hiding 
knowledge from us. And like I said, if you ever want to really see how Europeans were living before they enslaved Africans, or even, even, even when they enslaved Africans, go and read the book Dirt. It's a book called Dirt. It is a historical, accurate doc, uh, a book, right? It, it, it is actually a history book on Europe and its relationship with dirt. All right, we know that the most black men taught white people again how to bathe. We know the reason why there were black deaths and black plagues in, 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 in Europe was because of their filthiness. Okay, because they lived in filth. And we know that in, during that same time in southern Europe, we know that they were clean cities, they were cities uh, universities built by black Africans. We know this. I don't have to believe this. I know it. Okay, I gotta believe it. <laughs> y'all gotta believe what y'all gotta believe. And also, I know that they were black noble people in Europe. Right? So again, we have educated white people and they have miseducated us. Throughout our history, we have educated white people to, in which that they can benefit themselves. Okay? And what they have done is to take our kindness, to take our humanity and turn it against us. And now to create black people today, no knowledge of self, highly Christianized believers, corrupt you look at the leaders in Africa, how they're being used. You look at the pastor in the churches today. You know, I just was reading, uh, uh, I, was, I don't read, listen to a, a sermon given by, um, what's her name? Uh, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, ex-wife, her husband, he's a pastor. Saying that there's no, um, there, there's no reward in helping the poor. Right? This is what they get up there and they're saying. But then they'll tell you that Jesus said, to, to feed the poor and to help those in need. Okay? But yet he's asking his members for millions of dollars so he can build churches. Uh, she got it over there stalking me. Okay, move well, like, Yeah, walk away. <laughs> uh, he got this, got this Hispanic chick uh, uh, stalking me. Anyhow, um, you know, Yet he's asking his congregation for millions of dollars so that what? He can build a bigger church so you can steal from them. Yes, they're giving it to him freely. Well, not really freely, right? You know what I'm saying? Not of their own free will because they're being manipulated. Okay? And you'll see, you know, the nigger peers, they'll give him the money. They will give him the money. They, these are the same poor people he's talking about. Okay? Alright, just because you got a job and you get you have an apartment, it doesn't mean you're not poor. Okay? Particularly if you lose your job or you get ill and you lose your house, you lose your apartment. Right? You're still poor. You know what I'm saying? You see, we tend to delude ourselves about, you know, our place in, in society, whether we're rich, we're poor, what have you. Most middle class, so-called middle class black people are poor. Okay, they lose their job. They have no long-term savings. Oh, look at the statistics. Within six months, they'll lose their house. Or within a year, they'll lose their house. All right, so again, you know, we tend to be delusional in our way of thinking and our mindset because we have been conditioned to be that way. We've been conditioned to be this way. Alright, so, you know, we believe. When we know, it's a different story. Alright, this is why they don't want us to know. This is why they continue to want us to believe. Alright? Anyhow, talk to you guys in the next